AI made the track. Today, you are gonna make the masterpiece. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already done so, could you please hit that like and subscribe button as we are finding the best free or highly discounted AI generation programs because my goodness, we know how expensive costs can get as content creators. So today, I'm gonna show you how to take a Suno AI song, pull the stems and add your own vocals so it becomes your own copyrightable song. You're gonna be moving one step closer to discovering the full functionality of the most popular, and in my humble opinion, the greatest AI music platform on the internet, Suno AI. Now pay close attention to every detail from beginning to end, because even missing one step could either make or break your song. I'm also gonna show you how you can take one of your own old, outdated original songs, completely reimagine the music, and then re-record your vocals to create an entirely fresh viral sound that you could be proud of. So here's the plan, and here are some things that you are going to need. You're gonna need a paid Suno account, and then you're gonna have to choose a song in Suno to export the stems. Now I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out some of the packages, and you'll see how reasonable the costs are in Suno. If you're not sure what stems are, they are all the separate vocal and instrumental tracks that make up the song. So you're gonna need a DAW, which also stands for Digital Audio Workstation. This is the program that you'll drag and drop the stems into, and then you can use this program to record new vocals. You can use a free program called BandLab, or any other one of your choice. Now, I am gonna be using one of my favorite programs, Logic Pro X. You will need a decent quality audio microphone, either a USB mic, or if you plan on using a regular dynamic or condenser mic that requires an XLR cable, you will need an audio interface. I have included some links to my gear below in the description. And yes, if you do click and make a purchase, I would make a very small commission. So let's get this party started. Here we are on the main dashboard in Suno. And as you can see on the top left, they're simple and custom. We're gonna remain in custom because simple is just a song description and you could add lyrics to this one. But anyway, but we're gonna go to custom because I'm gonna be uploading one of my old songs that I recorded maybe six or seven years ago. I'm gonna reimagine that, download those stems, put it into Logic and then record new vocals for that track. So the first thing we have to do is upload our old song to Suno and then reimagine it. So let's do that now. Okay, so my track is in here. It's called 8-Ball. So we just uploaded the track and we're gonna create a cover. What I need to do is come over here to these three little dots and we are gonna go to Remix Edit and create a cover. Okay, so here we go. And on the left side, you can see that it inserted the lyrics and here's the style. Um, let's say Contemporary Love Song. All right, so here we go. Let's listen to this first one. Just want to hear the lyrics, and we're not going to listen to too much of it, okay? You're standing in my way Kick it back like yesterday yeah, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So again, my purpose is to really just use the music, right? I want to download the stems of these and only use the music and not the vocals. I I can't, or I shouldn't copyright these songs as my own because they're not. So in order to be able to copyright these songs as your own, you have to make some type of change to them. Listen to this. I just changed the style to be a male vocalist sings contemporary love song. So... You're standing in my way Kick it back like yesterday And I've got nothing left at all Why you gotta... Oh, I really like... All right, let's listen to the original. Okay, and then I think we want to go with this one. Yeah, it sounds so good. Okay. So 
this is the song that we're going to use and I'm going to come over here to these three dots. So in right here, we're going to download the stems. And if you look right here, it says get stems and MIDI. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. And I'll show you what that is uh, once we get to that point. All right, so we're going to get stems. Now, you're going to do the same thing for any Suno song that you choose, right? I created a cover from one of my original songs, but this is the same process, the same procedure with the other songs. And you have two different options here. You can extract just the vocals from the instruments, or you can detect all the stems. I like to detect because it gives me a lot more flexibility with how I mix each and every track, right? So I'm going to go ahead and extract all the stems. And it's going to cost 50 credits. All right, and here they are. Lead vocals, background vocals, drums, bass, guitar, keyboard, percussion, synth, and then other. I don't know what other is, but we will figure that out. Uh, looks like another version. So two versions. Interesting. So I'm not going to be too picky with this because I'm just showing you how to do it. And right here, it says MP3. Uh -uh. You want to download as wave audio, large files, high quality. That's what you want. And as soon as these are done loading, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, and we are going to drag and drop them into our DAW. And you do have an option to edit these in your studio, in your Suno studio. However, you're not going to be able to record vocals in your Suno studio. We're going to check that out right now. All right, so here we are in Suno. And you can adjust the volume of each track independently. And you can hit this little solo S button for solo if you just want to hear that individual. If you want to turn the sound off, you would just hit this little speaker. All right, so let's play this in Suno Studio. You're standing in my way. Kick it back like yesterday. So, um, I'm and I've got nothing left at all. All right, so I'm going to turn the vocals off on this. Chord. Hang on a second. Let me just see something here. No input selected choose a track it looks like you might be able to record for the first time because there's a little record feature right here so let's go ahead and try to activate our microphone now, now I'm using an M audio interface so I'm gonna try to find that in Suno studio here we go add track right there and here's a new track and we're gonna set our input to M track our M audio device. This is my M audio interface. And I'm not seeing any movement at all. So can I activate this? Now it's in record mode. Let's come down here. Check one, two. Yeah, it's recording. You can record in. All right, so how's that for frosting on our cake? All right, I did not know that we were going to be doing that. All right, it's processing. Let's just hear what I just recorded. Check one, two. Yeah, it's recording. You can record in Suno. All right, so the answer is yes, you can record audio in Suno Studio. However, it seems like we're having some processing issues where the sound is stuttering, so the quality is not going to be great. All right, so we're not going to spend much more time in Suno Studio, but very cool how you can record. Now, my processing power may not be enough, so maybe this would work on your computer. However, I wouldn't recommend recording your your final vocals in Suno Studio because I don't think you can mix and master them like you would be able to do it in a professional DAW like Logic Pro or Pro Tools or Cubase. Or even BandLab has some pretty good mastering capabilities. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to download all these tracks and we're going to drag them into Logic Pro. All right, let me show you how easy this is now. Let's open up Logic Pro and we're going to open up our zip file, which has all of our audio tracks. And it also has the MIDI. And I'm going to show you what that is in a minute if you don't know what MIDI is. And I'm going to drag them all into this gray space and I'm going to let it go. And then I'm going to, yes, I want to import the tempo. Okay, so here we are. 
All right. We have all of our tracks here, and it labeled them for us. It's still loading. Voice. So this is MIDI information up here. You see these notes. And what's cool about MIDI is you can change the instrument. Because it's just information, you can change the sound. And you cannot do that with audio files. These are all wave files, audio files. Um, but let's listen real quick. Okay, this dream voice thing, it's not working. And this happened to me the last time I uploaded stems from Suno. The MIDI was not working well at all. Yeah, so we're just going to mute that track. Sounds Okay, so here's the vocal. I'm going to drag this up to the top. And I'm gonna mute this. I don't want that. So there we go. Now we have now we have only the instrumental, and I can go ahead and record my vocals on top. So I'm gonna do that right now. You're standing in my way. Kick it back like yesterday. And I've got nothing left at all. Why you gotta block my sh I like to use Logic Pro X or we should be using some type of DAW so you can adjust the volumes and you can add effects like compressor and reverb. So let's do that now. In my way. So it's not bad. And with Logic Pro X, you can fix the pitches by pushing this button up here. I don't know if BandLab can do this, but Logic Pro can. So I just fixed the pitches. You're standing in my way. Kick it back like yesterday. So there we go. So I fixed all the pitches and I'm going to add a little reverb. And I've got nothing left at all. Here we go. I'm going to add a little compressor. Why you got to block my shade? You think you have it made. All right, so as you heard, some of the pitches are, are not correct, so I have to go back and micro adjust those pitches, but I'm not. All right, everyone, so, so that's how you download stems, upload them to a DAW, record your vocals, and then add some effects. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. If you have any questions or comments or anything at all, please leave those in the comments. I want to hear what you're planning on doing with Suno Music. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you all on the next video.